This is the world's most depraved island. So, the depraved island vacation offers guests unlimited whoopee with 100 ladies of the night. It's being billed as every man's dream. A four-day orgy extravaganza that promises kinky customers unlimited whoopee without a rubber is set to get underway near Las Vegas on Thursday. Whoopee Island is slated to take place at an undisclosed location outside of Sin City from May 5th to 8th with tickets costing pleasure seekers a whopping $4,500. The X-rated escapade is organized by the Good Girls Company, which is selling off just 50 tickets. The company has hired 100 prostitutes for the event so that each guest has access to two girls per day. All of our girls are tested and free of any diseases, the Whoopi Island site proclaims. At any moment, you can switch girls with the other 50 guests. There is also... On-site HIV testing and STI testing so guests can feel reassured for their safety before getting down and dirty. Organizers say the four-day vacation is drug-friendly and also offers access to horseback riding, a holographic concert, and casino tours. Meanwhile, the 50 frisky ticket holders will also be able to partake in a sensual helicopter ride. But some skeptics say the event sounds too good to be true. The website Scam Detector features complaints from several people who purportedly paid up for a prior Whoopi Island event only for organizers to cancel the day before the start. However, the site additionally hosted an interview with the Good Girls Company's head of customer service who insisted that the vacation is legitimate. The Post has reached out to the Good Girls Company for comment on the authenticity of this year's event to make sure customers don't get screwed in a way they weren't expecting. Meanwhile, a raunchy promo video shows bikini-clad women cavorting with a lucky man in a hot tub, a helicopter, and on horseback. However, the company states that the good-looking ladies in the frisky footage are not escorts and will not participate in Whoopi Island events. Whoopi Island was initially envisioned as an annual event. It first started back in 2017 and quickly hit headlines after organizers outraged Colombian officials when they tried to hold the horny holiday in that country. The location of the four-day orgy was eventually changed to a drug-friendly Caribbean island, and it was held again in 2018 before it purportedly postponed for several years. One New Yorker who bought a ticket to the 2017 event spoke out the following year, spilling sordid details about the vacay. There were 30 of us ticket holders altogether, all men except for one couple, the 30-year-old dentist named Brian stated. Most were professional guys, doctors, lawyers, aged between 25 and 50, and half of them were married. There were some nerds from Silicon Valley who had never done this kind of thing before and were nervous at the beginning. Ryan continued, There were also two big pop stars from Canada. I immediately recognized one of them. He's very famous and it quite took me back. The depraved dentist who is married but didn't tell his wife about the four-day orgy said the debauchery began shortly after the vacation kicked off as each man had to choose the two girls who would keep them company during the entire trip. Just 15 minutes into the trip, I was already on a bed with them, Ryan enthused. Some of them, the guests, didn't sleep for the whole four days, and they just stayed awake night and day to make the most of their two girls. If you got tired of the same girl, you could do a deal with another guest and do a swap. Ryan revealed that drugs were available all the time, saying there were pills, poppers, and cocaine. 
There were some others I've never heard of before, like one they called Toothy. It's pink and you sniff it. It really gets you excited and makes you want to have whoopee, he proclaimed. The New Yorker said his most memorable moment was an activity called All In, a one-off experience where each guest could sleep with 15 of the women at all at once. It was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life, he cooed. I never wanted that hour to end. Meanwhile, Good Girls Company head of PR, known only as Tony, spoke with the Post back in 2018, saying Whoopi Island is the brainchild of five hard-partying friends in their 30s and 40s. He claimed the company bends over backward for the high-paying customers in order to cater to their kinks. And while there are drugs galore during the four-day erotic holiday, Tony insisted his organizers do not directly provide any illegal substances. However, the pervy PR guru did wax lyrical about the toothy pink powder Ryan mentioned. It's a lot like cocaine, but it makes you super horny, he exclaimed. The guys like sniffing it off girls' butts. So that was a pretty crazy of a read. But honestly, it kind of seems like it's more so like a scam. So it's pretty interesting.